The summer movie season is here and it is kicked off with Iron Man 3. I love the summer movie season. It's, it's like I'm home. Mm. <laughs> Iron Man 3. So Iron Man 3 is the third Iron Man movie. This is the first Marvel movie that's in a post Avengers world. We'll call it the first Marvel movie of the Avengers phase two, leading up to the Avengers two. And now we meet Tony Stark and the dude's going through some problems. The guy went up through a wormhole, saved New York and the Avengers. So naturally he's, he's a little messed up. He's got that post traumatic stress shit going on. He can't sleep at night. So he just buries himself in his work. And now we got the Mandarin and Tony Stark has to save the day again. Sounds simple, but it's actually a pretty complex movie. Now Iron Man three is not directed by John John Favreau, and you can tell. It has a totally different tone to it. It's a bit darker, but it does have humor also. It's the darkest of the Iron Man movies, yet the funniest of the Iron Man movies. Makes sense? It should, because that's what it is. There are some tonal contrasts where you're like, it went from dramatic, and then a joke. Did it fit perfectly? No, but it did work. It never lost me. I was never like, ugh, blew it. It was never bullshit. When the humor happened, it usually made me laugh. Sometimes in the movie, I was like, all right, you're overdoing the humor a little bit. Did it compromise the drama? Maybe. But Tony Stark is a narcissist. That's how narcissists deal with dramas. They don't deal with it. They deflect with humor. It was never cheesy. The humor wasn't cheesy. Now, Iron Man 3 is the most comic booky of the Iron Man movies. I thought Iron Man 1 was actually pretty grounded. I was like, oh, okay, it's a guy and he's captured and he builds an Iron Man suit and he becomes a hero and he changes his ways. Now we got Iron Man 3 and more comic booky shit is happening in this movie. Not that it's a bad thing because it recognizes that it is a post Avengers world. Yeah, Tony Stark fought with a god with a hammer to save New York and the world. Naturally, this one can be a little more comic booky and still not cross that line. One of the things I liked about Iron Man 3 is it takes it back to what I loved about Iron Man 1. In Iron Man 1, Tony Stark was a genius and we got to see that he was a genius. His suit is not his greatest weapon. His brain is, and I love seeing that. Iron Man 2, I felt lost that, yeah, the guy came up with a new element, the little things in life. But we didn't get to see that MacGyver type genius in him, you know, where it's like, here's a box of scraps, make an Iron Man suit. In Iron Man 3, we actually get to see that. We get to see more about how his intellect is his greatest weapon. And when I was watching this movie, I was like, that might be one of the gripes that people have with Iron Man 3, because it's the same gripe that people had with the Dark Knight Rises. Dark Knight Rises, people were like, there's less Batman, more Bruce Wayne. Iron Man 3, I will say, it feels like there is more Tony Stark, less Iron Man. There is is a big part of me that does wish that Iron Man himself was in the movie more. That being said, they did what they did with Tony Stark very well. And they do make up for it in the last act of the movie. There's there's a lot of metal. When Iron Man comes to play, he comes to play and he wrecks some shit and it is badass. Crazy cinematography. Iron Man's all flying around how Iron Man should because he's being all Iron Manny. Iron Man is a word. I made it right here. But the movie does illustrate that the core of Iron Man is Tony Stark. It shows that Tony Stark really needs to hold on to Iron Man because it makes it, it gives him purpose. But in the end, it's all about Tony Stark. There's even a little kid in the movie and the little kid didn't piss me off. He was annoying, but he was annoying in that lovably annoying kind of way. He's supposed to be annoying because he's supposed to irritate Tony Stark. And it works and you see that. So it's kind of funny that Tony Stark throws sarcasm back to this kid and you're like, whoa, you said that to that kid? I mean, granted, I've wanted to say that to kids, but you actually did. That was actually not, that was cool. Good job. Now there is a direction they take in this movie at a point about halfway through the movie where I was like, oh, that's interesting. Some people are gonna be pissed. Not gonna tell you what it is, not gonna spoil it for you. I'm just saying some fans out there are gonna be like, done. And other people will roll with the movie. And that will be the thing. Iron Man 3 is a very dividing movie. People will walk out of this movie rolling with certain things they do in the movie or walk out going, nope. No, nope, not me. I myself was one of the people that walked out of Iron Man 3 going, hey, all right, I can roll with that. If you're one of the fans out there who's like, no, fuck that shit. They didn't need to do that. I hate that they did that. I hate it. I'm not going to tell you you need to get over it because I understand. If I was attached to this lore, I would hate it too. And so much happens in this movie that the movie feels a good half an hour longer than it actually is. It's a very investment mood oriented movie. I can watch Iron Man 1 all the time. My friends could be like, you wanna watch Iron Man 1? I'll be like, yeah, sure. I got nothing else to do. And even if I am doing something, put it on, why not? Iron Man 3 is one of those movies where it's like, I have to want to invest my time in it. It's very thick with content. You need to lock in and be like, okay, we're gonna lock in for two hours, 15 minutes. No casually watching Iron Man 3. In the end, as a whole, I will say Iron Man 3 is worth buying on Blu-ray. It was a great sequel. It's the most comic book you have the movies, but that doesn't matter because gods and Loki and all that, that did happen. All right, so Iron Man 3, have you seen it? What's your favorite? Favorite Iron Man of the three. Whatever it is, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.